Hi everyone, I'm Stephen Burgess, the designer on The Last Campfire, and I'd like to show you an Xbox One exclusive of a couple of moments taken from the first minutes of the game. Our story begins in the dark, in a hopeless place, where a lost ember sleeps. This is really exciting for me actually. We've been working on this game for a few years, and it's really nice to be able to show other people what we're working on. This is Ember, and somehow they've become lost. Ember ran without hesitation. The wall glistened in the light. The painting glowed, reacting to Ember's presence. It showed a moment from the first Ember story. Ember just hoped it would show the way home. What you're seeing now is the narrator. She follows you through the game and fills out some of the backstory as you're travelling and reacts to your actions. It was a relief to find someone else, though the stranger was deathly still. Hopefully you can see that the world looks quite charming, but you'll feel that there's a real undercurrent of darkness. That's what we're trying to get across. Ember froze, almost too frightened to look away, when they noticed a small satchel. I think this kind of charming dark fantasy is something you don't really see that often in games. I really love this moment with Ember. It's the first time Ember's seen a skeleton. Despite that, Ember's first thought is empathy. A little touch on the shoulder to say sorry and pay respect. The satchel felt heavy. Ember looked inside. Inside was a gold statue, moulded in the likeness of the first Ember. On the floor was the symbol of a campfire. We've taken a lot of different inspirations for making the game. Illustrated books and movies like The Dark Crystal or Labyrinth. Something about the door felt wrong. And we really want to tell a story that would fit in that style. And just like those stories, there's hints that as you play, this won't always be a happy tale. Moments like this are down to our artist, Chris Simons. He's our entire art team. Just one man has made all the art and animation that you can see. Ember departed, thinking only of the stranger, now left in the dark. He's put so many beautiful little touches and moments in, I think people really enjoy just taking in all the scenery as they're wandering around. The stairway led to an unfamiliar forest. If the stories of the first Ember were true, a path through the forest would lead to the campfire. Sometimes I'm playing a new build, and I'm used to seeing this white box layout and I've taken it back. He's transformed it completely with so much love. The flame called out to Ember. Ember tried to listen. So the cage you see ahead there is a place where hope has become trapped. The flame was almost within reach. We wanted the interactions to feel really tactile. You don't just press a button, you're pulling on a lever or tugging at the chain. The flame spoke and Ember listened. This tactile feel becomes really important and a big part of the game later on. Most games with puzzles tend to have a format of a series of increasingly difficult versions of the same puzzle. But for Campfire we were trying to make it so that each puzzle you encounter feels new or has a unique twist. It's almost like a smorgasbord of all different types of logic puzzles. Like here as you step out into the forest for the first time. It's a welcome relief to be outside, but then you kind of realise that this forest still might not be safe. And I think they're just understanding that this place they're trapped in is a dangerous one and they might never escape. Finding and rekindling hope is actually one of the big themes at the heart of the game. And learning to appreciate just how fragile that hope can be. As the forlorn ember awoke, the campfire flickered into life. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek. <laughs>